All right, for the birch biochar device, you just take a block of wood and roll it up in a small piece of aluminum foil like this. Go around several times. And then you want to exclude all the air, so carefully compress and twist the end like a Tootsie Roll without ripping the aluminum foil. Pyrolysis will only happen if you've excluded all the oxygen from the environment. And that will be ready to insert into the biochar machine. Star date 5232.96. This is my second generation biochar demonstration plant powered by a candle the aluminum insulation you see is material from the wrapping of chimney stovepipe. The smokestack is provided by aluminum tube formed around a pencil. Um, you can see uh, off-gassing smoke coming out of the chimney. Even though the wood block is encased in aluminum foil, there is oxygen in cellulose which gets liberated and does cause some of the carbon to burn up. Temperature is now 330 degrees centigrade. Not exactly sure how long I need to let it go, but it's been about 15 minutes, I guess. We'll see when the smoke stops. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes total. The amount of smoke coming out of the smokestack is definitely gotten a lot less. I wonder if the charcoal product is ready. Um, the temperature in centigrade is 460. Fahrenheit, it's 860. Pretty amazing that I could get that temperature inside this little insulated chamber just using a candle. All right, stay tuned. Okay, it's been just a few minutes since my last video. The candle is still going. All the smoke has stopped coming out of the chimney. The temperature has dropped now to 829 Fahrenheit. I think that the pyrolysis is over. Okay, it's been about five more minutes. I'm going to go ahead and show you what's on the inside. First of all, I'll take away my wind barrier. Temperature now is 755. The roof is held on with a couple of weights. Here's my insulated cap. And you can see the fire is still going. There's a candle under there. The block of wood is immersed in that tin foil block. Temperature probe sticking out the top. We'll take that out. I'm stuck in there. Anyway, I'll lift this up and you can see the candle. Totally melted. Totally melted. As expected. Here's a look through the bottom. And a look through the top. So we'll let that cool and then we'll see what's inside. Okay, it's cool now. It's time to take the charcoal insert out. You see I wrapped it up like a Tootsie Roll. I'm going to open up the little nest and see what happened inside. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It looks like it's totally turned into carbon. I'd say that's a good test. 